So I got I had some huge knowledge or whatever to drop on you this morning because something I figured out last night. Uh, if anyone gets a chance to listen to uh, um, a TED Talk by a guy named John Francis, and I think it's uh, entitled I Walk the Earth. Um, wow. That dude is my new hero. And the, oh, he was amazing, man. Uh, I don't know. So, um, a lot of, a lot of thoughts lately. And, uh, let me put this down. So, you change or you die. That has been a huge theme for me lately. Like, you, you have to adapt. Uh, and and in, a, in, a, in a part of a talk that you'll hear later, uh, Uncle Lou, who uh, was a senior master sergeant and a hero of mine and mentor and has always helped me. I don't know if you noticed, I, got, I don't have a lot of mentors, but I have people, you know, that mean a lot to me and they always reoccur in my thoughts and in my uh, actions and in things that happened to me, and um, Uncle Lou, Mike Mahoney, Rob Alney, all, um, Ross Kilbride, like, they're, they're giants in our career fields, and who, you know, I was lucky enough to get to meet these guys, and, you know, blessed with their knowledge, and, you know, expertise, so that or I, I think uh, the one thing I'm really good at is listening if you listen to people you'll get everything you know, pe- people will tell you the people tell you your stories and you, you glean from it you know, the important parts and you're like, wow, alright but so lately you change or you die you know, you got to adapt and, uh, and grow and, and live and thrive. You know, life's not just meant to be merely survived, uh, as Ani DeFranco would say. And, um, so, um, let's see, it's, it's about three years ago after a deployment, um, I got hurt and, Ever since then, everything's got hurt. I, I tore my shoulder building a Rams package. Uh, well, or actually, we had just jumped and we were dismantling the Rams package. And I was trying to carry one of the new uh, engines. Uh, and I tore my labrum. And then after that, it was all downhill. Every Both shoulders are jacked. And then I jumped in April 2012. Uh, had a, I didn't think it was that bad of a landing, but, um, jacked my neck up, and, uh, <laughs> so, uh, I just had, uh, an artificial disc put into, uh, at the C6, C7 level, um, so I can feel my fingers again, but, uh, I am now, you know, no more contact sports, no more jumping, uh, no more, no more being a PJ, I guess. Um, so it's, it's been a, a little bit of a rough transition, uh, getting used to, you know, not doing something I've done for 18 years, something I love, you know, I mean, um, so I'm not getting to instruct as much, and, uh, you know, I've been hanging on to pararescue because it's all I know, um, it's not all I know, but... It, yeah, I think it had become a big, bigger part of my life than I thought it was, which might sound weird because it, it it's a big part of your life, or you know, but you're not supposed to be your job, but in a way, you, you become this kind of a job, or I, I think it's okay to become this kind of a job because you need that dedication, um, but you also need the understanding and the wisdom to know that, you know, 